The next type of inheritance that we are discussing now is co-dominance. Co-dominance is also a variation from Mendel's principle. When we talk of law of dominance, we say only one allele, that is the dominant allele, dominates over the recessive one in F1. We saw the example of incomplete dominance also in Mirabilis, Antirinum and Andalusian fowl where the dominant gene is not able to completely dominate over the recessive. Here, we will take an example to understand what exactly this means. Let us talk of coat color in cattle. We have seen cows with colored patches on their skin. So that means if the skin is say white, there are patches of black. That means white is also expressing itself and black or brown patches, they are also expressing itself. So if we start with black and white, if we cross these two, black is dominant supposedly, and white is recessive if we go by Mendelian inheritance. In case of the crossing, it's going to be again heterozygous. All four offsprings will be heterozygous. And if we check the coat color, then according to law of dominance, this should have been black because there is a dominant gene. But in this type of inheritance, black or B gene is responsible for formation of black pigment or black patches which we see and the lower case that is the recessive gene is also able to synthesize the white pigment. That means we would see black colored coat sorry, white colored coat with black colored patches. That means both dominant as well as recessive are expressing together. That is why co-dominance, both are dominating together. One more example of co-dominance is blood group in case of human beings. We will talk of blood groups again because it is also a different type of inheritance but we will take one specific type of blood group. So AB blood group in human beings is an example of codominance. We know that blood group is decided by three alleles. There is IA which is responsible for formation of a typical type of protein on the RBC. Another gene is IB and the third gene is IO. Out of these three, IA and IB are dominant genes or alleles and IO is the recessive one. So if an individual has IA and IO, there is one gene that is dominant which will result in formation of an antigen or a protein on the RBC and this is recessive so this is not going to help in synthesis of anything. But if individual has blood group IA and IB that means there are two dominant genes. In this case on the RBC only A antigen will be synthesized because of this dominant gene and in case of AB blood group a will synthesize, this gene will synthesize A antigen and other gene will synthesize B antigen. That means both are expressing themselves though they are together and here both are dominating together. So this is also an example of co-dominance. So in co-dominance we take two examples. AB blood group in case of human, we are not talking of ABO blood grouping, we are just taking AB blood group which is uh, expressed by co-dominance and the previous example which we took was of coat color in cattle.